Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning. John and I went off Saturday and I left my camera holder in his truck. And I don't have time to go get it because I'm having to take my mom love. We're going to a new doctor today. So I was wanting to do a video Maybe I can do some when we go back in the room to wait on the doctor, but I was wanting to do a car chat with her. That's not gonna work today. For those of you that's on Let Your Light Shine Facebook page, you know that yesterday was kind of a sad day for my mom love. Um, her dog of almost 14, it's either 13 or 14 years, passed away. We knew she was bad the last several days and the day before she had not eaten anything. And she's been on a diuretic pill probably for over six months. And that has literally been keeping her alive because little heart, she was holding so much fluid. And so that was keeping her alive. And so my brother Dana came over and got it in her um, Monday because mother couldn't get her mouth opened and so she perked up a little bit after that but then um, Tuesday she was really bad and I was getting ready for Bible study and everything and we had um, we had just prayed I told the group that we knew she was dying and um, his mother couldn't get the pill down her and we knew without the pill that she was gonna drown and uh, so we had prayed for mother at Bible study because this is yet another big loss for her so um, Bible study I kind of ended teaching kind of early and because it was more just a teaching lesson and so we didn't have a lot, you know, a lot of prayer requests and stuff like that. So I told the girls, I said, if y'all don't mind, I think we kind of need to go ahead and clear out when we got through. We prayed, you know, we prayed for a few. And I said, let's go ahead and clear out and let me go over to Mother's. And uh, of course, everybody knows my mom loves and loves her. I know this is horrible taping. And so... Um, We, I did and she was laying I bought her a little bed about a year and a half ago and she has totally loved it and uh, she sleeps in it and then she gets up and if mother waits too late to go to bed she'll get up and leave mother and go to her bed which is a basket with a blanket in it next to mother's bed right next to her mother says she snores all night so um, she was just laying in an odd place in the floor so mother had put a quilt down and had put her on it because she had thrown up previously and so anyway when I got over there she wouldn't even put her head down and Dinah said it's probably because she could feel the fluid you know building up and everything so mother stayed on the couch with her for a long time Tuesday night I went over there and stayed about an hour left about 10 and mother said go on home I'm gonna be okay and she said, I think she's going to be going to be with the Lord when I, when I wake up. Well, mother went to bed sometime, I think after two, she went and got in her bed. And so when she woke up, she had hobbled in there and gotten in her bed because when I was there, her back legs were not even holding her up. And uh, I'll find a picture in here and try to insert, try to find one and insert one of her. And so sure enough, when mother got up, she was, she was gone. And so Dana, my brother, got over there very early so Mother wouldn't have to be there a long time by herself. And he wrapped her up in her blanket that she slept on every night. And uh, we have a barn that my daddy built. My dad was gone 35 years last week. And so um, we've buried other animals out there before. So Dana took her out there and gave her a proper burial my brother is he is holy ghost filled he amazes me he's not perfect 
but he has a love for God and the spirit flows through him all the time and he gets attacked a lot because of that just like I do but our goal is to serve the Lord and my brother side note failed the sixth grade then he failed the seventh grade and I used to sit beside him and I could not understand why he could not learn simple words and he would call of for f-o-r and things like that well we didn't know what dyslexia was back then but we know what it is now and of course he has it but when he got saved <laughs> He laid down the drinking, he laid down the drugs. He didn't lay the cigarettes down at first. But it wasn't long before the Lord convicted him about his cigarettes and he laid them down. And he now reads everything. It's amazing how he reads the Bible. Let me tell you what his Sundays are like. I don't know what time he gets up. But I know that he goes to his church and makes six gallon of coffee. And then he takes that coffee and he meets up with someone and they buy um, biscuits. And they go into Birmingham. Now we're about 30 miles from downtown Birmingham. He goes into Birmingham down to a park that's down around the courthouse where a lot of the homeless live and there's some empty buildings that they go to that they have found out that they live in. And he goes and he, they feed them coffee and biscuits every Sunday morning. Then he does that. Then he comes back to his church and he teaches a Sunday school class. Some of us can't even get to Sunday school. <laughs> I did Sunday school for years now. I mostly go for preaching, but I, I need to be in Sunday school again. But anyway, he teaches a Sunday school class about 30, 35 people. And um, then stays for church. And it's amazing. But anyway, he gave her a proper Holy Ghost burial mother said he prayed over and thanked God for her being such a good dog and such a good companion to mother I know I'm looking at the wrong place today I'm supposed to be looking here but anyway so side note for my brother I have to give him a shout out because he's a good man and um, <laughs> so today we're going to a new doctor I'm starting her to a new doctor and so we're gonna go there and I'm glad we're getting to spend the day together so anyway I'm fixing to pick her up I won't be able to record her in the car because my arms about to fall off right now <laughs> but I'll get I'll get some footage of her today so we'll see you in just a little bit look who I got Woo, don't she look pretty not really have they seen your new glasses well I don't know but I look kind of sexy with them you do you're too sexy for your glasses but the only problem is there's nobody around to notice that they're sexy. Well, that's true. And I, you have Everybody to, your age is what? Croaked. <laughs> <laughs> but don't they look good? They have got just a tiny bit of little leopard on the side there. Because I'm, I'm rough. Because you're a cougar. That's what it is. It's <laughs> oh a cougar. God, I'm not it's a, a cougar. cougar print on the side. I ain't never hunted over Everybody's been Everybody's oh. been missing her. And, and my phone holder is in John's truck. But we'll get some footage today. We're going to have to go to Bath and Body Works and get us some hand soaps. And I am kind of want to be nice today. Oh, you do? Are you going to try to make a good impression upon this new doctor? Yeah, I'm going to try to, I'm going to sit there and look so good. I, I, that will be interesting. Let me just tell you, if she acts civilized with this doctor, this will be interesting. There ain't no telling what she will be telling her. Mother, mm -hmm. yesterday, I am sitting across the road talking to a neighbor of yeah. ours that's been there forever he's about three years older than me and he used to pick me and his niece up from school and I was so in love with him <laughs> 
so in love and of course we're just dear friends now and so she called while I was sitting there talking to him and she said don't y'all be kissing down there well I knew he heard it over the and he just grinned I said she, mother I don't think his wife and my husband would like that very much and so I told him when it got off I said she told us not to be kissing I guess you heard that and he's grinning I said now we probably thought about it years ago but we're not going to talk about it today <laughs> Time. I'm telling you, he always had that pretty Chevelle, and I thought I was hot stuff <laughs> in like the seventh and eighth grade when he picked his niece up and I got to ride in it. Well, I, was I never like, felt that way with a boy because I never knew one that had a car. And if they had a car, it was directed. Well, and you married when you was 12, so. I know, and a half. <laughs> and 15 and 16. But they're little boys, they all to the store. And they never went nowhere but to the store because they wasn't nowhere to go. Yeah, well. Well, we did go over to the, to the theater and but it was a bad theater. Why well, was it bad? It had all kind of cowboys in it. <laughs> and it was all runky, 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 runky. And the old building was about to fall. How and much I did it cost I... to get in that theater? Oh, we had to work it up to get us about a dime. Lord help. And we had I can't even there. believe there was a theater out down it there. And one day we'll go down there and show you where it was at. I think I know. I think I know where it is, but, but anyway. When you make the crossroad down there, yeah. Something. But well, anyway. we're fixing to go because we got to get to the doctor here in 30 minutes. So we'll talk to y'all a little bit. We're here. Okay. Are you gonna be good? I'm not gonna be good. I'm gonna just tell them facts. Oh gosh. <laughs> tell them that all my friends are dead, <laughs> and that I have to live by myself now. I ain't got no dog. No. <laughs> but other than we that, don't. Hey, we other don't. Other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> Y'all, she just told me that she's old and worn out and that she has to think of things to talk about. I just told her she has a good imagination because <laughs> she sure does talk a lot. I'm just like Walter Rogers. You are. She's just like my Papa Rogers, her daddy. His name, everybody called him Wendy yeah. because he talks so dad go much. This is Wendy too here. <laughs> The good Lord give it to me, and I'm using it. Well, I know you are. Trust me. I'll make it up. I probably know it more than anybody else. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice, but you got to remember that I'm from the old place. Not I'm not these European people. <laughs> She's very mischievous. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> gotta watch you. Huh? <laughs> uh, Lord, this woman. She's telling me that somebody's house has been torn it down. Is torn down. I don't think so. We're going by there. We're going to prove that deal. I have a feeling. If that house has come back, I <laughs> That house has not come back. Okay. I don't think that house is torn down. Okay. Okay. We'll go up there and oh, we'll we see. see. We're going to. We're going to. Cause we hardly ever disagree, but I totally <laughs> disagree with her on this one. <laughs> we tell them where all we've been. We've been to the doctor, and y'all, that new doctor is a hoot. She's got red curls, and she had on Birkenstocks and, and a little dress. dress, and we won't even talk about how she sat. <laughs> it wasn't very ladylike. <laughs> I'm glad there wasn't any men there. I'm glad that didn't say what. <laughs> saying what? Yeah, only put my phone down. There was the policeman. <laughs> be like, lady, why are you holding your phone up? You can't drive good like that. And I say, well, my phone holder's in my husband's truck. So then we went to eat at Applebee's yep. and we ate a grilled chicken Caesar salad, a small one, a, um, a lunch size. It was really good. Tell them I've got my pops left. I ain't got my She's got part of hers left. Yeah. I heard something squeaking while I got some mama, your foot's on your food down there. <laughs> So then we went to TJ Maxx. I specifically told her we were going to look for her some stuff. She bought nothing. She said, just go on over there and look for you something. Well, of course I bought more fall stuff and another shirt. It's never gonna get cool enough here for, for us to wear anything cool. It's 88 degrees right now. <sighs> oh Lord, come on fall. Then we went to Bath and Body Works. Now let me tell you, I told her before we left, mother, the hand soap's on sale, which it wasn't really. But, so we go over there and we pick out all this hand soap. You did. Well, you were standing with me. Oh, I didn't know what you were You were holding them. You know I'm old and foolish. <laughs> Old and worn out is what she said today. So we get up there ready to pay and, and so I had coupons 25% off and $5 off and she said well you can get a free bath gel with this a certain kind. 
And mother said, well, that's, that's what I'm getting is bath gel. And I was like, no, you're not getting bath gel. You're getting hand soap. Well, I need bath gel. I told the lady, I said, cancel this transaction, please. And let us start over. <laughs> you want to quit talking about me? I'm going to get me one of them things and I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> no, you're not because I turned your phone off. Wow. <laughs> I turned her phone <laughs> off. I'm paying for it every month and she's not using it. So we're turning it off. <laughs> so anyway, we we backed up and punted and regrouped and went and got her some bath gel and Boo Boo still got her a new hand soap. And I got pumpkin smell all over my hand. But you know, pumpkins don't smell like this. This is a made up pumpkin smell, I have a feeling. But anyway, um, so then went back to Body Works. I'm taking her butt home. We're going to get her medicine. Yeah. But I'll tell you, um, we really like this doctor. She is, she's oh, very well. unique. She's, she's very different. But she listened to Mother's Heart. And she, you know, we were talking about her being on Coumadin. And she said, did she have an AFib? And I said, yeah, several years ago. And she listened to her heart. She said her heart is normal and regular. And actually, it's low, a little low. And she said, I don't know that she needs to be on the Coumadin. So she's sending us to a cardiologist because Coumadin at mother's age is more dangerous um, for her. If she fell, she could bleed, you know. And so she's sending us to a cardiologist to see if she even needs to be on the Coumadin, which also causes her face to break out, which also causes her to have gout. So that would be a blessing if you could come off the Coumadin. So we'll be going to see a cardiologist pretty soon. She's going to make us an appointment. And they'll call us. But anyway, we had a good day, haven't we? If we have argued. We've only argued about that stupid house <laughs> and about the hand soap. She said, you're going to have to make me understand from now on. I said, I'm going to get in your face and go, hand soap, <laughs> bath gel. Nah. Well, if we didn't argue, what in the world would we do? Well, I know. It just wouldn't be any fun, would it? <laughs> so we're going to go to the drugstore and get her drugs. You're yeah, giving her something. Drugs. Getting her something, they're getting her some topical cream to put on her face for that stuff it's causing and some new stuff for her post nasal drip that she tells me about. Constantly. Is this air? There's something in the air. <laughs> something in the air. No, we've had a good day. I'm glad we got to get out today. That was a good distraction. She's doing okay about losing Shada. Um oh, yeah. well I mean that's what she said. She was good to Shada and she was you know, treated her like royalty, and you know she's lived her life, and it's time to move on. So, That's exactly right. um, but we're gonna wait about a month or so, and then we're gonna go look at some rescue dogs because she wants a female, and she wants one that's already house trained. Yep. And you're too old to be training any dogs, aren't you? I, I kind of feel that way myself. Yeah. And uh, preferably one that doesn't shed. Uh, Shadow had real short hair, but. Even like the little Yorkies, don't they say they don't shed very much. So, you know, that'll give her some time to think about what she wants. And um, don't, you know, that's what she said. Don't want nobody bringing her no dogs or anything to make up for it. We're going to go pick her out one and see what want she wants. Up, no, don't want to rush it. You know, that'd be like being married and getting married the next week oh, again, which that. we sure have known some people to do that. <laughs> I should have I looked around for me somebody to get married on. 35 years ago? <laughs> he probably would have already died on you. He'd be a dead. You'd be, you'd be like the Black Widow. I'd have to buy two flowers on him. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I am glad I didn't find one. Yeah, I don't know where you'd put him. <laughs> your tombstone's already fixed with your name on there with Daddy. I know. Yeah, you'd probably already killed another one off, Mother. You're going to outlive everybody. No, I'm not. <laughs> We'd be calling you the Black Widow. <laughs> I, I guess I am the Black Widow, but I sure want to I don't mess with men. I like men, but I don't want to She them. likes them, but she don't want to mess with them. But she, she definitely enjoys a good-looking man. Oh, my Lord. I think the prettiest, some of the prettiest men. I just, if I was young, I'd run and grab one and run. What would you do? Well, never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to ask you what you do with it. We're going to go before she tells us what she would do with it. <laughs> Tell them bye, Mama. I'm not going to mess up with that guy. Uh-uh. See y'all later. Bye.
<laughs> what is Greg doing to you? <laughs> there comes our Mississippi boys. You hear them? Well, they make that round about 99 times a month. He drinking all of my drink. He said, I'm going to that He said, I can hold this bottle and I'm going to drink it. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. That's Gingan's drink. Uh-uh. You better not spill it. That's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Don't spill it. Put the whole thing in there. I'm glad you got on the black shirt. No, it's mine. Is that Gangan's drink? Mine. It's actually mine. Hey. Hey. No, no not mama. It's mine. It's Gangan's drink. Oh, it is my drink. Well, it actually is. It actually is. Oh, that's not done. Watch it, watch it. Oh, don't tell her you love her. That's say, okay. Are you being mean to Gang Gang? Oh, oh no. Are you being mean to Gang Gang? You're not. That's my Gang Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got that on video. <laughs> oh. 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 Are you doing it softer? <laughs> so it doesn't count as bad. Don't step on my feet again. That hurts. No. Don't you roll your eyes at me. Don't you dare roll your eyes at me. No, don't you do it. Oh, he is. No. Don't you do it. Don't you roll your eyes at me. Oh, you little stinker breeches. What a mouthful of teeth. I've never seen a thing. Don't you roll your eyes. That's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. It's mine. It's not rigged. It's mine. got a heavenly glow behind your head. Wonder what that means. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually just the cloud, the skyline. Cause you got one behind you too. <laughs> you gonna you gonna be doing a lot of raising. <laughs> no, stay here for a long time. That's right. Look, I'm saying that's a that woman can't be denied. She looks like a thing. Not a home.